This video is a demonstration of how to configure tool management on a Siemens 840D solution line CNC control. When using tool management, we must first create a configuration for the tool management system. This video will show you the process for creating the configuration and loading it. The information in this video applies to software version 4.7 and it is recommended that you make an archive of your system before proceeding. In this diagram you can see a typical magazine configuration. Magazine configuration consists of our chain magazine which is 16 pocket. We also see the buffer magazine. The buffer magazine consists of the spindle and our dual gripper. So we have spindle, gripper 1, and gripper 2. Our load magazine has two locations, load location 1 and load location 2. This is a configuration that we'll uh, go through in this example. So now on the control system, we'll go ahead and get started with setting up the configuration. The first thing we need to do is set several machine data for tool management. To do so, from the main menu, select the setup area and select machine data. In the general machine data list, scroll down to machine data 19320. Press the select key and set bit 4 for the tool management option. Press OK. Scroll down in the machine data list until you get to machine data 18080. The value we want to enter there is B for this example. The value B shows that that sets bit 0, bit 1, and bit 3. These are the features that we want to use in this example for tool management. Now, switch to the channel machine data list. Scroll down to machine data 20310 and again enter the value B for this machine data. An NCK reset is required to activate these changes. Once the NCK reset is completed, press the arrow up key so we go up one menu level and select the soft key for NC configuration. There you can see we now have a tool management soft key where we can start the configuration wizard. The configuration wizard contains several folders. Under the folder called examples, if we open this, there we can see some template configurations that we can use uh, and adapt for our machine specific configuration. Choose the first template configuration, which includes a chain magazine with a dual gripper. Press the copy, select the active data folder, and select paste. Select the active data folder, which can be expanded by pressing the arrow right key. Whenever we see this icon, that's an indication that the folder can be expanded. Select the Magazine 1 folder, expand the view, and there you can see 
this template contains a 30 pocket magazine so we see listed 30 locations if we expand this there we can see the configuration and we can also change this configuration to match our example which is 16 pockets The asterisk is an indication that we have not yet activated the configuration on the control. With the configuration activated, we can now display the tool management area under the parameter page. Here in our tool management display, we can see that our configuration loaded correctly. This column on the left shows the magazine location starting with the uh, buffer locations. So the first one is the spindle, then the next two is the double gripper, and then following that we have location 1 through 16, which is our, our magazine pockets in our chain magazine. The configuration has been loaded and this procedure is complete. Let's review the steps that are required in order to configure tool management on the 840D solution line control. Before you can use tool management, there are several machine data which must be set up. These enable the tool management functionality on the control system. You must also create and activate a configuration. There are template configurations available on the control which you can use and modify to match your requirements. This concludes this instructional video.